Hello everyone, this is Barnman and Elio 77. Welcome back to Quest Calendars 2024, The Leaf Riders of Renwood. Today is Saturday, April 13th, 2024. AKA Stars Day, Storm Fall. Yesterday, Cora came upon two critters being attacked by a group of insects. She tried to sneak up to gain a bonus stepped on a twig, made a loud sound, the surprise had vanished. So now she faces five insects. The insects' sheer numbers make it challenging as they attempt to grapple and restrain you, hindering your ability to strike back effectively. What that means is that for each attack, Hora is going to have to roll a dexterity roll. If she fails that dexterity check, she's restrained and unable to attack that round. Uh Uh-oh. Let's use Dagger and Frost Wealth to boost our attack and defense. Let's attempt. Which one do you want to draw for first? Dagger. Dagger. You're going to be trying to draw a spade greater than or equal to seven. Team, let's use our Royal Command. Okay. We're going to shuffle that back in. Royal Command allows us to redraw one time per page. Drawing again for Dagger. They were both teens. Describe what happens as Dagger tries to help with the attack. Dagger tries to use his weapons but he missed them by a bit and accidentally hit himself. He hit himself, loses one heart. He's at one HP. What is, uh, is Frost Wealth then going to try to help with defense? Definitely. So let's shuffle back up. We need a diamond greater than or equal to seven. Oops. A diamond, that's a two. Not, oh, wow. not quite enough. So the party members are not going to be able to assist. But Cora is still going into battle. Let's go ahead and do a dexterity roll for this first enemy. We got a three. We are restrained. Unable to attack. The insect lunges forward, trying to bite and pierce Cora's skin with its sharp mandibles. Let's go ahead and roll a defense. This... We roll... I got seven plus five. Seven plus five, so that's a twelve. Cora successfully gets a defense with her shield, but the mandibles do scrape her arm, causing one health worth of damage. Uh Uh-oh. The second insect rallies up. Cora does a dexterity roll. Try not to be grappled. Eight. Is able to attack this time. You're going to go ahead and roll at a plus five. That's a 13 plus five. Eighteen. The insect's trying to swoop from above, but Cora is able to attack with her bow. Drawing the string back, she lets fly an arrow. Uh, that's a 9 plus 1, 10 damage. The arrow pierces the insect in the air, and he crumples to the ground, unalive. You mean dead? Same thing. Okay. Second insect, let's go, or third insect, rather. Dexterity check. Six. Successfully does not get grappled. Let's go ahead and do an attack. You want to describe the attack as you roll? Cora uses her cutlass and attacks and hits for nine damage. Describe what happens to this insect. Cora is able to stab it with the tip of her cutlass and She's able to take the insect off and wipe it 
the blood off her cutlass a bit and ready for the next insect. Insect attempts to grapple her. Three. She is grappled, unable to attack. She's going to have to try to defend herself. Thirteen plus five. She successfully defends, and even though the insect spits acidic liquid at Cora, she deftly jumps out of the way, no damage done. Woo! The last insect rallies toward her. Five! She successfully is, uh, gets out of his attempt to restrain her, attacks with... Her cutlass. Dabs it. And this is a keen edge attack, so it's going to be double damage. Stabs it right where its net should be. Double damage, so 8 plus doubled. That is a 16 plus 1. Plus 2. Plus 2. Because you have to double it from the beginning. So it's 8 plus 1, that's 9. Now double it. 9. 9 doubled. Nine doubled. Yeah. Eighteen. Eighteen damage. Describe what happens to this little insect. When Cora aims for its net, she perfectly hits it and decapitates it. Yikes. The other two insects are frightened, highly frightened, of what Cora just did, and they start to flee. Left behind, on the ground. Cora finds some amber. Let's go ahead and roll a d4. Right. And we'll add one. Two. Th three amber. Twenty-three. Three amber. She reaches down and pockets that as the insects are fleeing into the woods. Maybe it's that the tapidating the or lose her head. Exactly. I wouldn't want to either. That... That was quite the battle. She only lost two health, though. That's good. That is very good. Tomorrow we may be able to use Eagle to heal one. That would be helpful. Yeah. But that's tomorrow, and today's still today. Could we not have Eagle try oh, to heal now? We could. We could, couldn't we? Could. We? Yeah. So do we want to go ahead and, and draw that? Sure. All right. Shuffled up. What do we need? We need... Um, eagle healing is a heart 9 or 10. Nope. The likelihood of drawing a 9 or 10 is so thin. Yes. Very much so. With that, we will see what Cora does with the critters that were being besieged or with the insects that ran away. Farewell. Have a good day. Bye.